Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Jake Ludington here at VMworld 2011 with Mark Shoemaker from the HP Cloud Advisor team. And Mark, we were just talking a little bit about how it's, it's great to be able to deploy all of these cloud assets very easily, but then there's this management piece that, that ought to go along with it too. Yeah, it's, it's funny how that doesn't go away. Huh? And, and cloud really brings a demand that you get it right because of the, just the speed and agility this thing moves at. So a lot of the things that we've struggled with in the last you know, 10 years inside the data center around standardizing and automating and how we manage, um, you really have to get it right inside the cloud. So infrastructure as a service, great first step, what are you going to do with it after you build it? Because that's really, if you look at that, that's where a lot of your time and money actually ends up going. We got a study, I think it talks about a 30-70 split. You know, we can, we can compress the 30% side where we make it faster to deploy, but you know, if you don't do that right, it puts a lot more pressure on the 70% side is where we normally live inside of IT. And um, we want to make sure that, that we help our customers solve both problems at the same time. So we've got some great stuff in the booth here that lets us do that. Because there's a, there's a lot of the, um, cloud providers that are telling you that you know you can uh, you know set up a server deploy it or set up a cluster of servers deploy them very rapidly but there there really isn't that management component to to make sure that uh, you know you get your monitoring in place and all those sorts of things that, that's very true you know in the end I think um, we'll find that the technology around cloud actually becomes the easy part uh, the business process that runs behind it that that again is really how we become efficient and can live with what we create uh, is, is probably more important now than it ever has been. The good thing is, is we've been working in the data center to provide that type of functionality. So when cloud showed up, we didn't have to change anything. We just said, hey, cloud's another resource pool inside the data center. We want to make sure that it's um, used and utilized uh, effectively along with everything else you're going to have. Because you're not going to just have cloud in the data center anytime soon. And so you've got actual management components that allow you to take the cloud assets and marry them to the bare metal assets. Absolutely, actually there's a demo in the station that talks about that, but you know, we can man manage physical and virtual inside of an on-demand type of uh, um, offering uh, seamlessly because again, we started you know, six, seven years ago, we started talking about service-oriented architecture and building the, the portfolio to manage that. Cloud's just a, another step closer to you know, Nirvana around that. So yeah, absolutely, That's, that is the strategy inside the data center. What's a real world example of that that you could kind of walk through? So we have a customer that we were uh, talking to, they were um, uh, Oracle, Oracle cluster, large Oracle cluster, heavy IO dependent systems. Um, you know, they struggle sometimes inside the virtual containers, right? And this customer's having specific trouble. And what we were able to do, uh, they were very comfortable with their physical Oracle deployment and we were able to show them how we could manage that from bare metal up and build and patch and manage everything you need to do, but also link that to uh, virtual and cloud assets for the middleware and the, and the web tier. So create a different type of hybrid. We talk about public and private hybrid. Now we're talking about hybrid inside the data center as well, and that's just one of the examples. Very cool, well thanks Mark. Thank you, appreciate it. Have a great day, take care.